Oh, I don't know. Whatever you want to do. Well, I mean, that's probably a better thing. Part of that what? Because we're taking it out of... It's been just left to die out here in the swamp. Yes. Out here in the woods. <laughs> we're going to pull it from the Earth? <laughs> from Mars? <laughs> Hey guys, got my good friend Mike here. He's just found this exciting acquisition and we're gonna do a little run through on this. And uh, But first I'll let him tell you what it is and then we'll try to diagnose what all's, what all's good and what all's bad, so. Okay, so this was a buy off of Gov Deals. Uh, if you ever go there, most of the stuff there is from someone in the government and they've used it until it just quit and then you buy it for pretty cheap and hope that it works. So I bought this thing, got a decent deal on it. This is. This engine is a 2006 Mud Buddy 23 horse surface drive. I've always wanted one. You have to wait until they're completely worn out before you can afford one. Here's mine. When I bought it, I got it home. I put it over here. I got all excited, hooked the battery up to it. And you turn the key and that's all you get. So we're gonna start digging into this thing. Hopefully it's gonna turn into a full blown tear down rebuild. Maybe it'll just start when you change the oil. Let's see. So a quick, quick look at the oil. Uh, it's black, but there is oil in it, so that's good. We'll that's good. we'll run some tests with the oil that's in it before we want to run uh, do a do an oil change on that. So with that, let's. Uh, what do you want to do? Do you want to? Well, with, to to crank it, the pull cord's gone, of course. The key start won't go. We're trying to figure out. I think it may be just a bad kill switch. Um, could be what else, David? It could be anything. It could be the starter. Yeah, I don't, I mean, not knowing any more about the electronics, if there's some kind of, who knows, they could have put some kind of off-board switch or something that maybe, you know, there we're There could be a missing. secret switch. This was a government deal, and who knows, it yeah. could have anything done to it. I see a lot of customization going on on here. So let's take this off, and we will uh, we'll, uh, hook a drill up to the flywheel, and then we'll pull these spark plugs and see if we can get, uh, get spark. Okay, so we changed our minds. We decided to go ahead and just take a quick look-see at the voltage coming into the starter solenoid and see if we were getting um, see if we're getting voltage whenever the um, whenever the key started. So the first thing we noticed was I don't know, Mike, can you hold that? Or right there. Yep. All right. And hey, just so everybody knows, that lawnmower over there is for sale. I'll give you a hell of a deal on it. <laughs> All right, so. Here we are, battery battery side of the uh, of the starter solenoid, and then there is the uh, ground. Booyah. So there's something. This is already grounded out. Uh, Electricity is going to follow the path of least resistance, so we got to figure out where where we're grounded at. Okay, so let's let's just try this. If maybe if by chance if our kill switch is somehow faulty, we could disconnect the kill switch here. That doesn't just unplug? No. Nope. Yeah, okay. it does. Yeah, we're good. Okay, and now we'll try the same experiment and see if we get the same results. Yeah, I didn't want to open this can of worms to the parts. Okay, so we got the, uh, we had the same result whenever we uh, we unplugged this. I think it's, we're thinking maybe it's something over in the uh, in the ignition switch. Right here, we do this, that thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, we had to catch our bearings here. And, uh, you know, one of the things that we did here, we trace this back, and this is a direct uh, connection to the battery, so that obviously is always going to have uh, 12 volts. So that's not really what's supposed to switch. It's this little connection right here that was right down in there. Um, you know, we, we pulled this thing out. It looks very corroded. Uh, I think that could be our, our reason. This, this goes right back to our switch up here. Um, you can see we, we ran a, uh, you can arc these right here. And we're getting uh, we're getting engine turn over there, so uh, we're going to clean that up and see if that fixes our problem. Okay, so Mike's cleaning that up with the tool of choice, a blue paper towel. And uh, we'll... okay, guys, so we've taken the uh, we've taken the switch off here, and I want to just kind of do a brief run through. We're going to just test this switch, um, you know, based on the I can see that here, based on the uh, wiring diagram there. The two that we're trying to to connect, whenever you when you crank it over, are these two right here. So we're just going to do a quick test on those, just a continuity test. And this one. Which one we going for? 
Uh, this one right here. This one? Yep. And then you'll if you can crank the. Yeah, you ready? The switch. Yep. Yep. Okay. So our switch is good. Okay. While Mikey puts the uh, ignition switch back together there, I'm going to kind of catch you up on where we are. Uh, so this wire right here was connected to this which runs down here to some sort of magical little something or other here but whatever that thing was it was uh we weren't getting continuity through it uh so anyway we uh we think we're going to bypass that and take a look at what uh what we can do when we just plug this uh yellow one directly into the solenoid down there no go ahead nothing Okay, so that wasn't it. So I think we're gonna to have to replace the solenoid, but before we do that, let's just see if we can start this thing. Uh, Mikey has went ahead and uh, it's a- uh, Oh, I got a choke here. It's All got right. primed here. Where's that screwdriver? Uh, right here. All right, so here we go. Choke. Everybody clear, clear prop. Yeah, clear. We ready? Yeah. Sounds like it needs some grease in there. So now that it runs, we're just going to do a quick compression test and see what kind of uh, compression we have in these cylinders. All right, so this is going to give us a pretty good idea of the... Uh... Ooh. Hmm. Just a little dark. Yeah. A little juicy, I guess. But it's not fouled up or bad or burned or anything. No. Nope. So we're looking for anywhere between... They don't, say they don't publish them, but they have some numbers on here. we got 65 PSI to 55 PSI. A difference over 25% be between the cylinders indicates a loss of compression. So we're really looking for them to just be pretty much even and hopeful. Okay, so the spark plugs out of both cylinders. Uh, this is, you know this is cylinder one because it's the first one you start with. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I do it. Okay, so that's on. I'm gonna arc these over and we're just gonna use the uh, the starter motor to, uh, to, to get our reading here. To get a compression test. Oh, uh, that's pretty high. 140, 120, 40. You gonna try it again? Oh, that's 147, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's try it one more time. All right, 148. Oh, shoot, we need to write this down. All right, that'll be all right. We'll do this side. Oh, we got it on tight. Yeah, 148. Same thing. Okay. Love it. I'll watch the numbers. And the best part about this is all the arcing that we're doing on the solenoid here will, uh, uh, all right, uh, it's about 143 ish. I saw it jump to 145. Try it again, or yeah, love that thing. Ready? Yep, here we go. Thirty-five. One more time. You gotta do it on the first strokes, David. You gotta really arc it over. One forty. So one forty to one forty-eight. It's not bad. What's the numbers on that? Eight. All right. So we got uh, one forty in this cylinder, one forty-eight in that cylinder, and if my Apple phone did its. Uh, Measurements right, that should be 5% difference. We're totally good with that. You think it's good, David? 5%? That's good. The tolerance is 25%, so I think it's pretty closely synced, and I think we did a good test. I'm going to put the spark plugs back in. The next thing we're going to do is probably order a new solenoid, and once I put that in, we're just going to start going through this thing and replacing you know, old hoses. This thing's almost 20 years old. Hoses, I've got, you know, there should be a pull cord here, new air filter, new spark plugs. Tidy it up a little bit. Change the oil, maybe. Change the oil. Change the lower change the oil unit. Filter, lower unit. We got to grease her up. But 
it's looking like it was a goodbye. Good deal.